Hey guys, I'm Pierce of Scale Adventures, and today I'm going to answer a couple of questions about one of the snakes that we filmed with a lot in both Season 1 and Season 2, and that is the rattlesnake. Now, we've gotten a lot of questions, and I wanted to save it so that I could do a commercial just about them so that you guys could learn some more interesting facts about them. Now, most of these questions revolve around their rattles. So, we have one who asked, what are the rattlesnake's rattles made of? Now they are made of a button-like material and they almost look like a ball and socket joint but the ball doesn't quite fit in the socket itself so it rattles around. Another one was what's the mechanics behind a rattlesnake's rattle and how does it work? And then finally another one was how is it that rattlesnakes hold their tails up in the water and why do they do it? Okay so we're going to start off with the mechanics. Now that is because each one of these is like a little bowl individually and they're all stacked inside of each other and so that's how they get that noisy rattle now i've got three sizes with me this one was probably by a very old rattlesnake probably kept kept in cat captivity <laughs> probably kept in captivity so as you can see it's very long and also very old this probably came from an old 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 rattlesnake this one is kind of in the middle it's very pristine very well cared for probably from a snake that was kept in captivity and then this one over here, <laughs> it's a little baby one. Now, this is a good example because you probably thought this came from a baby rattlesnake. That isn't always necessarily true. You'll sometimes find an adult rattlesnake with maybe three or four buttons on it. And that's because a bird might have taken them off. It might have gotten banged across some rocks and it might have broken off. But it's not always due to their age. Now, that's another thing. People often guess that if they count the buttons on a rattlesnake, they can tell how old it is. That's not always true either. Because these they usually gain a button every time they shed. And also, they are susceptible to falling off. Goliath, you gonna fall off me? <laughs> Stay on, buddy. Okay, now, I have some bowls with me, and this is a great example of how rattlesnakes keep their tails from getting wet. So, the bowl here, as it rattles, this is a typical rattlesnake rattle. Now, as it fills with water, if they got it wet, each one of these bowls wouldn't rattle as much. Imagine if I filled it halfway with water. It wouldn't work, would it? Now that's very dangerous because if a rattlesnake can't rattle, it can't warn you or itself. How is it going to protect itself without its rattles, without hurting somebody? It's amazing what you can learn when you're out in the wild, isn't it? Now if you like this, then you can check out scalyadventures.com and make sure to record the seasons because in season one, we filmed with rattlesnakes surgery and in season two, we got to work with them again. You guys liked it, don't you? <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys later at scalyadventures.com.